Okay, so next question is question number D. So question number D is 3 to the power minus 1 plus 5 to the power minus 1. 3 to the power minus 1 plus 5 to the power power minus 1 whole into 4 by 5 whole to the power minus 1. 4 by 5 whole to the power minus 1. So a to the power minus n which is equal to 1 by a to the power n power is 1 so 1 by 3 whole to the power 1 no need to write the value of 1 okay so 3 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 3 5 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 5 okay hold it again a, this one is you can write like this okay so, now take the LCM which one is 15 so 5 plus 3 this one is 5 by 4 4 to the power 1 means 1 ok so 8 by 15 into 5 by 4 so when you cancel it becomes 2 becomes 3 so 2 by 3 and in terms of exponent you can write 2 by 3 whole to the power 1 which is the power exponent is positive number ok so Now come to the question number, the last one, E. Okay, so E is 1 to the power minus 1 plus 1 to the power minus 1 plus 2 to the power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 1 into 2 to the power minus 1. Okay, so this one is 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 what is it to get 1 by 2 if you take the LCM it can 6 so 6 plus 3 plus 2 and into 1 by 2 so 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 2 11 by 6 into 1 by 2 which means 11 by 12 so in the positive exponent you can write 11 by 12 4 to the power 1 ok clear so question number uh, 3 has been finished so now come to the question number 4 question number 4 is very important you have to find the value of p I think yes question number 4 is very important ok so let us start question number 4 question number 4 is number 1 is Find the value of P. Find the value of P. So first one is 2 by 3 whole to the so 2 by 5 whole to the whole cube into 2 by 5 whole to the power minus 7 minus 7 is equal to 2 by 5 2 by 5 whole to the power 3p minus 1 3p minus 1 I think all of you uh, did this type of question in class 7 ok so very easy and very important question so you have to find the value of p so given is 2 to the 2 by 5 whole to the power 3 into 2 by 5 whole to the power minus 7 which is equal to 2 by 5 whole to the power 3p minus 1 so now a to the power m into a to the power m that means a to the power m plus m and the uh, right hand side remain same ok so now this one 2 by 5 3 plus minus 7 that means 3 minus 7 that means minus 4 so 2 by 5 over to the power 3 p minus 1 so look at that uh, expression uh, both the expression are equal because in between them there is an equal symbol so look at the basis basis of the left hand side is 2 by 5 again the basis of the right hand side is 2 by 5 if the uh, basis are equal of an equal expression then powers must be equal so since the basis of both sides both sides 
are equal, equal. So therefore, therefore, the powers, powers must be equal. Okay, must be equal. So therefore. So therefore we get 3p minus 1, so therefore we can write a minus 4 equal to 3p minus 1, okay? So minus 4, 1 comes to that side, so plus 1 becomes 3p, so minus 3 becomes 3p, we need the value of p, so this 3 comes to that side, it becomes division, okay? So that means minus 3 by 3 which is equal to minus 1 equal to p so therefore p equal to minus 1 okay it is very important question so today i am solving up to the question number 4a so in the next class the next lesson will start from question number 4b okay i think all of you understand this class so if you have any doubt then ask me okay thank you